Hello and welcome. My name is Gail Moffat and I am in this unique position where God comes forward and speaks his words. Now these words are not just of a philosophical basis. They are a an educational basis about you know his world and what goes on and how he works with us but it's also about the work that he is now intending and coming forward much closer to our world and and so it's really informative about the changes that God is implementing in our world I hope that you enjoy this and of course if you want to be kept abreast of how this potentially will impact yourself, then do subscribe and, and press the bell so that you can always be kept informed. And so let's go to God. It is very important that I always consider each person that I speak to. And when I am in front of someone speaking through Gail, I will firstly assess their lives and look at their problems and situations and circumstances that they find themselves in. Once I have assessed their needs in life, in my conversation with through Gail, I will be identifying some of the difficulties that they are experiencing. I will also be stating very clearly what we will be doing to implement um, positivity and good opportunities in their lives. This, I feel, is a way of encompassing every difficult situation that I come across. As you know that I always appreciate the prayer and when someone prays through to me, I will always listen and embark on a quest of how I can help each individual that prays. Once I have received a prayer, I look to contact the best person in my world that can help. Often I will approach the angelic realm because the angels have a unique ability that is distinct from man. They are able to bring about a feeling of love a feeling of protection and safety, unlike what man can give or any other human guide from my world can give. But I also will often be bringing forward a guide as well when someone is in difficulty. And it depends on the circumstances and how I need to implement a change for the person that is struggling with their lives. Each person, obviously, has a different set of circumstances. And I really wish to give each person an individual uh, approach to what they are struggling with. Many years ago, when I was a young God, there was a young lady who prayed to me and asked for help within her family. She was scared that there was going to be fighting and war around them and wanted protection. I, of course, listened to her prayer and placed angels around her community and village. So not just her, her individual family, it was the wider community that was protected. And so that was a prayer that was requiring protection and the angels are ideally suited for the idea of protection. Another time when I received a prayer was when, again, it was a young mother 
that had a small child that had some health issues and the mother was about to embark on taking the child to receive extreme medical intervention. I realised that without my help this small child would not survive the medical intervention that was about to come about for what they perceived to be the only solution. I decided then that I would place doctors and surgeons and also the angelic realm around that child and each time they received the medical intervention healing was placed around the child so that the child would not be impacted by the medical intervention that was taking place. I can tell you that this child went on and survived all of the medical treatment and became well into adulthood. If we had not intervened and if I had not heard the prayer, then this would have not taken place. And this is why I urge every single one of you to think about your circumstances, situations and people around you and how you can help mankind by bringing about a, a constant prayer that you can give to ma for mankind and for yourself. If man chooses to pray then their life can be enhanced in a way that perhaps would suffer unnecessarily. I urge you all to pray because prayers are attended to and listened to from my world. I thank you all for listening to my words and now I wish to pray. It is my greatest wish that all of mankind understand the importance of prayer and how my world can help each individual soul. That whatever circumstances anyone is finding themselves in, the prayer will be answered and considered and brought love in the process. I thank you for listening to my words and understanding the importance and power of prayer. Amen. So yes, prayer is so important and I can confirm that God does listen and he's talked a lot through, through these videos and, and personally to me about how prayer is so important and how um, we need to have this, it's, prayer isn't something that has to be, you know, a set prayer or an organised prayer. Prayer is about having a communication and it can be said in any format that you need to do. It's just, hello God, I've got, got these problems, can you help me? And it's as simple as that, you don't have to be clever at prayers or, or in any way because it's just a communication that will get heard. So thank you for your communication to God and I will see you soon. Goodbye.